Hidden beneath Rendlesham Forest is a system that costs over 200,000 US dollars per hour to run in 1946. This is the true story of FIDO. Fog Investigation and Dispersal Operation, or FIDO. The device was developed by Arthur Hartley for British RAF bomber stations, allowing the landing of aircraft returning from raids over Germany in poor visibility by burning fuel in rows on either side of the runways. The invention of FIDO is formally attributed to Dr. John David Main Smith, who worked at the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Farnborough. He described it like this. Much of the airfield installation was pioneered here at Hartford Bridge, just a few miles from REA's Farnborough Airdrome. The device consisted of two pipelines situated along both sides of a runway and through which fuel, usually petrol or gasoline, was dumped. The vapors were lit from a series of burners producing walls of flame. The FIDO installation usually stores its fuel in four circular upright tanks. In the case of Woodbridge and Bentwaters, underneath Rendlesham Forest. When fog prevented returning Allied aircraft from locating and seeing the runway, they would be diverted to a FIDO-equipped aerodrome. One of those was RAF Woodbridge, with a handy Runway 27, particularly easy to find, pointing due west. The FIDO burners were sometimes ignited by men on bicycles or by runners on foot. The result was a row of flame along the side of the runway that could be seen for miles. The heat of the flame evaporated suspended fog and smog, allowing Allied aircraft to land in suitable visibility and find the airfield. RAF night bombers, which were damaged on their missions, were also diverted to FIDO airfields due to the need to make certain that they could land when they arrived. FIDO was rolled out to these strategic airfields. Blackbush, Bradwell, Carnaby, Downham Market, Frickeston, Falsham, Gravely, Lugford Magna, Manston, of course, Melbourne, Metheringham, St. Evel, Sturgate, Tuddenham, where my father flew from, and RAF Woodbridge in Suffolk. Well, that was Fido, a fascinating fact from history, incredibly expensive, and that's just what your military are doing today. You think our Air Force and our Navy are using 2023 technology. They're not. They're at least 10 years ahead of your wildest science fiction dreams. And I'm looking into it for you because the truth is out there.